pendulum clocks. Clocks operate on a simple mechanism. The earliest clocks made use of the swinging pendulum to keep time. A pendulum is a long rod or a weight on a string that swings back and forth. It was in 1583 that Italian physicist Galileo Galilei discovered that a pendulum of a certain length would always take the same time to swing back and forth regardless of how heavy the weight is or how strong it swings back and forth. This he figured out by observing a huge lamp swinging on a chain from the ceiling of the Pisa Cathedral in Italy. Galilei used his pulse to time it as it moved back and forth. So the pendulum gathers energy as it moves back and forth. When the weight is at its highest, it has maximum stored energy or potential energy. And when it accelerates down to its lowest point, the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy or the energy of movement. Now, in a clock, the pendulum's job is to regulate the speed of the gears. These gears are the interlocking wheels found inside the clock. The gears are what count the number of seconds that pass and convert these into minutes and hours and thus displayed on the clock. Let's take a closer look at the inner workings of the clock. The hands of the clock are mounted on a little axle called the timekeeping gears. It's what makes the second hand automatically turn the minute hand at 1 60th of its speed and the minute hand then turns the hour hand at 1 60th of its speed. Next are the power gears which take power from the falling weight of the pendulum. So as the pendulum's weight falls, the second hand moves exactly one position on the dial in one second. This is the pendulum's function. As it swings back and forth, it moves a lever called an escapement, which locks and unlocks the part of the mechanism driven by the falling of the weight. This gives the inner workings of the clock to move in a regular and concise manner.